Damn, you know what I mean? No, I really don't know what you mean, bro. Like, what is it like? What do you think it is like? Huey P. Huey P. Moon or something? Like? I mean, what you want? It's a, it's a union thing, you know what I mean? When I, when you say, when I say, boy, I'm saying like, when I call, when I call anyone. No, I'm saying, let me finish saying what I'm saying, though. Hold on, man. Hold on. No, man. what I'm saying, though. What is you saying, bro? Like, what is you, you know what I mean? First of all, boy, what it is, is it's more so. If I but you kind of contradicting yourself because you be like, you're not in the game, you're not gang banging, and then people should not be doing these certain kind of things, but then you don't know if I what I want to be called. You know what I mean? You don't know me like that. You over, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm saying, you see what I'm saying or not, though? <sighs> no, huh? brother, this, this, I'm, I've been on, working man. with it. And hey, it man, don't be putting your hands on me. Welcome, welcome. You're now tuned in to Station Zero Interactive Education Radio. I'm your host, O-N-E. Twin Cities, Matt. We got a special guest today. Hey, brother, hold on. Don't forget about me. I'm in here too. What's up, bro? I'm in here. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, please, excuse me. Let me inform you. I am suffering from multiple personality disorder. I'm Twin City, Matt. I had taken the time to identify my other personality as Vicious Ways, or VW, and you have to excuse him, he's a little more aggressive. I apologize if he come out. Please don't personalize anything that he does. He's a more aggressive individual. And I do speak of him as a third party because it helps me, you know, deal with it a little more. Yeah, I'm, so, that's, that's, I'm sorry to hear that. Why are you going through that, family? I ain't never really experienced nobody with that before. Well, I appreciate that. Um, let me get back to it. Anyway, could you please introduce yourself? Tell them who you are, who, who we have here today with us. What's going on? You got Ryder. Ryder from the city. Ryder, Ryder, okay. South side. South side, south side of what? Where you, where you from, Minnesota, brother? Minnesota, south side of Minnesota. Okay. Minneapolis. That's what's up. So, what do you represent? Um, are you affiliated? Or you do you have the organization? No, you know, it's uh, Melaniti. I'm uh, with a business. We got uh, Station Zero going on. Station Zero Radio, Station Zero Records, you know, the label. What do you characterize your music as? I, I, li I lend my ear to it all. But uh, me personally, the type of music I create, I create uh, what I like to say. Word spoken, like spoken word, you know, uh, more so of uh, uh, acknowledgement of the people, Melanichis. Okay, okay, I hear you saying Melanichis. Mm -hmm. well, could you tell me, you know, what does that mean? What's the definition of Melanichi? Um, Melanichi would be folks that is born within the states, the 48 states, you know, Melanichis, you know. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what, what language is that? That that is a old tribe. My family we from. It's a language. My Melanichis is the people. Masoon would be the language that it is. Do you do you um have any major influences over the years? Um, I would say my my folks, my family, my brothers. And so I would say that's an uh, influence on my music. Would be my my chameleon, my kin folks. You know what I mean? Family all the time. Hey, hey, homie, don't get throwing no bangs or anything like that. We don't do no banging in here. Oh, uh, nah, brother, you relax with that. You know what I mean? That ain't no gang or nothing like that. It's family all the time where I come from. You know what I mean? We don't, ain't no gang or nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, hey, we ain't gonna be on that relax, though. You know, you know what I mean? Um, just, you know, take it easy. Be a little, be a little, you know what I mean? Be a little smooth, bro. But, um, all that movement and throwing on the gang sign make me more, you know, uncomfortable. This is a radio station, you know what I mean? This your show, brother. So we we gonna do it how we do it, but it's all the time, family. You know what I mean. We gonna get into one of your songs here. For the sure. first song. Why don't you introduce it for us? Oh, uh, okay. The first song we gonna get into is gonna be restrictions on the rider. We got uh, check that out right now. Okay, we finna get into restrictions on the rider. Mm -hmm. Be right back. 
There's no assumption to the line, G. Pay attention to it, cause it's all up. Facing the truth, yeah, telling the tears, don't you lie to me Cause it's always the bullshit that we always jumping in And they always trying to kick it back and relaxing Ryder is always about the cause, Ryder is always on call No, we don't stop, fuck it, we kicking it back and relax Before we turn it up to another vibe They don't want the shit earthing up out the speakers This shit is hard to not see inside One day on your back like a motherfucking monkey That you gotta itch, kick cat with your relax Take a break off the bullshit, they don't know how to act God damn it, same like Mo putting in work on the Nachi Gotta represent for mines, yeah, we pop cheap If you want me to pop heat, pop weed, no Get out and never exist, what you think? Got a Melanichi that lives inside turtle You don't want your systems bumping out I'm poking out, leaking out with the way we want it out Either way, we taking all the routes, we gon' see them leaking Got a motherfucker thinking but we gotta be so stuck in the system We're sinking, it's deep in the sunk And like it up when it was sinking in the couch Why motherfucking Kamika, what you think I don't honor ya When you gotta realize the unidentified The motherfucking problems is What we gon' face on Think on when you think strong I think long when you think on I keep going till you come to a subject That's gon' matter when you think on a generation That's facing the bullshit that's keep going on You know Do some adjustments, adjusting. What you gotta do, step in, step up to the situation. Feel me looking stuck. Fuck what the bullshit hit me on. Step up with the boys at trying to restrict the right of what the fuck they talking. Alright, we back. We back. Station Zero Education Radio. We're here to educate you and entertain you. You know, our main point is to introduce hip-hop artists, R&B artists, just artists, period, across Minnesota region, you know, tune in to what they got going on, let you know and connect you to the many talented individuals that Minnesota have to offer. Um, and we just heard Restriction on Ryder. On the Ryder. On the Ryder. Mm -hmm. Which very interesting song. I heard you um, talk about restriction on the rider. What is the restriction all about? It's, uh, you know, the qualities of when a person want to do something that's uplifting. And it's more so got to do with, as I am, am assuming, pot cheap, but positive, you know, or growth into whatever you would like to become. You receive some forms of you know, pull back, hangover, like a restriction. Some, you know, it's always some, some shit you gotta go through, climb through, you know what right. I mean? Some hurdles you gotta hop over. And I, I receive that in my everyday life, you right, know what I mean, right. Okay, mm -hmm. and so I, I heard you say, Pop Chi. Yeah, yeah. Did I pronounce that right? Pop Chi. Pop Chi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, that, I like that, what does what does that mean? Pop Chi is, um, it's, it means growth, it means develop, it means positive, you know, good. What is it? What is the opposite? Is there a, is there a word for the opposite in in in, in your language? Mm -hmm. And it's uh, not cheap. Not not cheap. Not cheap. I heard another word that was interested in restrictions. You said comica. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Comica. Comica. <laughs> what, what is what does that mean? Comica is a a, a foreigner, uh, someone that is not from the lands that we are from. So it would just be identifying outsiders, you know what I mean, from that is not from where you and I is from. So it's an acknowledgement without necessarily being disrespectful or uh, putting anyone down, but not forgetting who people is, you know what I mean, and acknowledging exactly what they are, you know. I'm saying, bro, who do you think you is, like some kind of, you was some kind of like revolutionary or something? I mean, like, when you're doing what you're doing and saying what you're saying, like, what you're trying to separate people or something, like, when you talk about Comica and foreigners, you know, I got people that's 
foreigner, you know what I mean? My girlfriend in Ethiopia. So I'm like, what are you talking about? Are you, do you, do you, 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 what is you, some kind of a revolutionary or something, bro? Nah, it's, it's, uh, I mean, first of all, are you bro, witness separating people? It's, 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 it's more so of an acknowledgement of um, where people come from, the separation and all that in the midst. First of all, the energy, brother, that you're giving off is throwing me. I ain't even gonna front. I'm, I'm trying to keep the talk yeah, cheap. Yeah, bro, I'm just saying, level, bro, I'm just asking whether or not is you a separator, because at first you was talking like, you know what I mean? Nah, like it was all brother, good, it's, you know I mean? it's, it's more so on the level of acknowledging that all people ain't like pop cheap, and just because of somebody is a comic, I don't mean they, they, they not cheap. It just means you acknowledging where people is or who people are, and don't get confused. So if you're taking it on a level of disrespect, then shit, brother, I don't know what to tell you. And on no GP, you ain't even no comic, so I don't see why you getting upset. What's making you decide to, you know, be more so on that side than to talk about? You know the, the the natural subjects that the common subjects that we listening to t these days. It's um <clears throat> yeah um it's 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 more so of my upcoming and what I see where I come from you know and uh, you know you you could talk about a lot of things but the importance is if you're gonna do something you know what I mean right right about it. yeah and so you know my 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 boy is in us you know what I mean my music is me. We talked about it when we was coming up and talked about how we, you know, we we just would, we if we got to a chance or an opportunity to do something, we would definitely do it. You know, we was always hands on growing up. When you talk about restrictions, when you talk about having these boundaries, you know, you have individuals that, you know, seem to be like crabs in a barrel. They, they feel trapped. They appear to be trapped. How do you feel? Do you feel free? Do you feel trapped? How do you, how would you express your current state as an individual um, in this society in the present moment? Well, me personally, brother, I'm a, I'm a we, which meaning it's no I. So that means if, if we are at all in this predicament, then I wouldn't say me personally. But if we going off of just my personal state of mind I would say I'm 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 a bird baby I'm free you know what I mean but as together we got some fixing up to do because of the matters of the way we think of ourselves you know yeah, what I mean yeah. and how we allow outside people to give so much judgment or opinion on shit, shit they shouldn't be really giving opinion on let's um take a quick break we'll be right back pay attention to this informational piece Station Zero, Stay we here tuned. with Rod. Stay tuned, man. Stay right back. What up, Twin Cities? Carly P, you know me, a eh? Shout out to Station Zero, putting it down, okay? Little interlude here real quick on building your credit score. Uh, from Carly P, you know me, a eh? Get your credit right, get, get, get your credit right. Out here trying to build legacies, you know, just tips and tricks real quick. Um, building your credit score. First of all, know what your credit uh, reports are. There's several different ways to get a free credit report. Credit reports going with credit scores determine um, a, a number of factors on um, credit worthiness when you're ready to go and purchase a car or home or uh, anything you like, building businesses, okay? Credit score, credit report ranges from around 400 and such to 850. 850 is the top number. That's where you want to be. Somewhere in the 800 club is, is all right with me. Okay, I'm almost there. You know what I'm saying? 700 something club. Okay. All right, you will be too. It doesn't take long. All right, but know your credit report, know your credit scores. All three credit bureaus, very, very important um, and that that information is correct. Experian, Equifax, TransUnion, okay? Um, dispute any errors, anything erroneous on there, get it off, all right? If it ain't right, get it right, okay? Um, you can definitely do that, again, for free. If you need any help on these things, um, I do provide that uh, kind of um, uh, holding your hand <laughs> for a fee. Um, otherwise, I can give definitely um, uh, uh, some advice for some um 
uh, increments of time to help you do it on your own, okay? If you want help to do it on your own, it is not very difficult, okay? But it does take some, some experience and definitely some attention to detail. Um, and if you're looking to get things done quickly, you have goals to meet, I can definitely help you with that as well. Carly P, you know me. Get your, get your credit right, okay? Number three on the list real quick here, pay your bills on time. You know what I'm saying? If somebody give you something, give, give it back. You know what I mean? If you said you was going to give it back, you know what I'm saying? Same with the credit agencies of any any um, place that would loan you something. If you um, have a loan, pay it as best you can for that full monthly payment every single month. Um, that definitely helps build your credit score as well as the utilization. You want to have a mix of different things, not just all credit cards or five different car loans. You want to have a mix of different credit. That builds your credit score as well. And different credit cards being something you use and not max out. Okay, credit cards always have a higher interest rate. So get a credit card, spend a little bit, pay it in full. You know what I'm saying? That'll build your score as well. So uh, get your credit report, the dispute any errors, don't just call them up, send them a nice little legal letter, they love that. And if it ain't off your credit in 30 days, or they don't, excuse me, respond to your inquiry in 30 days, it will magically disappear from your credit report. Also boosting that score up, okay? Tips and tricks, get your credit score, get your reports, dispute any errors you might have and paying your bills and debts on time all right and hopefully in full if you have a debt keep it under 30 percent okay if you if you pay it on something and um uh it's maybe a car loan pay your full car note every month on time okay all right good luck to you and all of those trying to build your legacy it's definitely doable holler at your girl if you need any help with that carly p you know me hey have a good night all right, we back here with my my brother Ryder. What's going on? What's going on? What's up? Station Zero Education Radio. Thank you for tuning in with us. Before we left, we was talking about um, you know, Ryder's opinion on um being free and being locked up mm -hmm. as a we. Mm -hmm. And he as he put it, you know, as a we, as a collective, we locked up. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what I'm talking about as a we, you know what I mean? Even all folks got to be united as when it comes to trying to make things better. You know yes, what I mean? But I would like to start, me personally, start home. You know what I mean? Start yes. with folks that's identical to me. You yes. know what I mean? That's all. And we hope whoever we need to. It's been done, you know, historically. So it could be done today. It ain't nothing that's new. Been done historically, so it could be done today. Exactly. You heard it from Ryder. We're going to get into this next song. Definitely. Uh, why don't you introduce it for us, brother? We got um, this informed coming in, so we're going to drop that immediately. You can check that out on all platforms. Misinformed by FM Ryder. Look me up and uh, give it a listen. Here we go. We're going to get into this joint. Misinformed by Ryder. Check it out. Station Zero. If witnesses are to be believed, there has been a child security breach for the first time in monster history. We can neither confirm nor deny the presence of a human child here tonight. Well, a kid flew right over me and blasted a car with its laser vision. I tried to run from it, but it picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a dog. It's true. I saw the whole thing. It is my professional opinion that now is the time to find it. It just seems like it's all for the captions A lot of ignorance shit captured and capping Gotta realize these actors actually acting There's no debating conversation Duration for that because it would not happen It just seems like it's all I 
slouch so We gon' reach them and it ain't no problem, no problem. This man's got it information, they feed us, feed us though. Don't go for whoopsie daisies, alley hoops for bullshit, no shit Cause we don't go for those, go for and let my people go Do not lie to someone who's paranoid and violent Because as soon as you lie, you're aligned with the forces that are persecuting them and they're gonna be walked because paranoia makes people hyper vigilant, like they're on amphetamines. In fact, you can make pe people paranoid by giving them enough amphetamines. And you can make paranoid people more paranoid by giving them amphetamines. So they're hyper vigilant because they feel that everything is predatory and against them. And so they're watching you like you would not believe, way more than you're watching them. And if you flicker a lie while you're talking to them and they're really on the edge, you, you're done. That joint go deep. I appreciate that. Hey, you 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 say misinformed, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, like, what do you mean as misinformed? What does it mean for someone to be misinformed? Um, we come from a long lines of uh, confusion as our people, as uh, knowing what we is, who we is, what we are. I think that that's uh, misinformation that we got about ourselves and uh, where we come from. So it's a lot of little things that I like to pick at as uh, taking the time to acknowledge and get a brain, a fresh, a refresh type of, you, you good, brother? You good? So it's like more so things mm -hmm. that, oh, I'm good, bro, I'm good. Like to pick at and acknowledge with the different truths that comes with our people. So I, you know, like to just make your brain think of, uh, more things outside the box than you're normal. You know what right, I mean? So, right. So with that in mind, how do an individual, you know, go about not being misinformed? Um, things that I do personally is um, see what's going on in front of me as far as uh, you hear a lot of things that go one way. If uh, So for example, something that become like a trend your trend or your most popular thing, more than likely, is a misinformation. It's a misguide. It's a stop, go this way real quick. You know what I mean? When One you knows. say your trend, could you just elaborate on that a little bit more for those that may not catch what you're saying there? Because I think that's an important piece. Like a trend, something that is being put in front of you and pulling you to pay attention to it. Or are you saying things that you may see commonly um, happening on your television, commonly listening to, on coming through your speakers or your radio, yeah. or these yeah. type of things. Those type of things. Do you feel like um, people always intentionally misinform others, or could there be situations where people be misinforming others because they have been misinformed? <clears throat> I would say that it's um. It's, 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 it's exactly that. Can't no one from outside come in and tell me that this is this is what it is. You know yeah. what I mean? To get more informed, to know, I would say, read different things. I would say pay attention. Read, read more valuable information that you get your hands on. Some things that you see, you would you would feel that it's real. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, just get that energy from it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And I and and, and I, I think that's also why it's important when you do get those 
that information from individuals to do your own research. Exactly. Like go a little exactly. farther and exactly. dig a little deeper. But they might not know exactly, or you might discover more things that they didn't inform you on. You know right. what I mean? So right. to continue to just do the digging, there's no you know limitations on when it comes to uh, knowledge or um, uh, finding new information. You know Definitely. what I mean? Definitely. You could you could learn more every all the time. You know what I mean? I yeah. learn things by the by the minute. You know what I mean? I, I learn things every second of the day. I like that. I like that. Paying attention you know what I mean? and, and, and actually being in a place where you can pick up some new knowledge mm -hmm. every minute. Mm -hmm. You know, people usually say you learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. You saying I learn something new every, every minute. minute. Every minute. Hey man. Hey, we did it right here. We dig it with my man's rider. We're going to take a quick Stay tuned on informational time. period. We'll be right back. Station. Previously on Melanie Universe. Was thinking. Yeah, bro. Huh? Look like Jaquan and Mashiach Love Intensity is bringing up over in here. Tight. Yeah, we got moving balls and putting up high numbers in state for original universe. Up at Fiso's and Jaquan acting like he wants some smoke. Da 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 da. On the lightning. Then I had to get up with the crack. homies and had to speak on this nonsense. This y'all you know back what it back. is, man. You already know we about to be about business. Now we got to put him with a plan yeah, and make this I, thing. Do we, do we cut his fingernails off and, and, and stick his hand in Clorox bleach? Y'all folks want to stay in tune because there ain't no telling what's going to happen on Melanie's universe. Do we, do we call his mama house 60 times and tell her her son is doomed? Shout out to City Max, Station Zero Radio. If you're looking for from Lost Generation, the project Lost Generation. Coming soon. Signing out, Wi Fi Bill. All right, we back. Station Zero Radio. We with my boy Ryder. He, he breaking it down on, you know, being misinformed and how to prevent <laughs> being misinformed. Getting that knowledge up, mm -hmm, staying mm -hmm. focused, and actually going a little extra step mm -hmm. to doing some research and not just believing the initial thing that, that you're hearing, what you feel, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, that makes me wonder, you know, what, what happened to get you to this place where you can, where you can, you know, be in this position psychologically and emotionally? Well, you know, um, at a young age, you know what I mean? My oldest Niji, he just made sure we wasn't lost. You know what I mean? And so, got me, got me together and made sure that it wasn't no, no easily misguided, you know what I mean? As far as the decisions you make and how you go about, you know, moving in this, this world, you know what I'm saying? For me personally, it was on hands on at an early age. What would you say to the young brothers out there right now that maybe looking for some different kind of information, some different kind of a knowledge. I would say paying attention to your environment, the way that people around you is moving and thinking. You know what I mean? One, it, it only take one person to be like, nah, we ain't doing, that ain't, that ain't gonna take place today. Or nah, nah, boy, I don't, don't, we ain't moving like that. You know what I mean? Or nah, that's too fast. You know what I mean? Some things right. take place that need to take place, you know what I mean? Right. But a lot of things don't need to take place. Okay, I feel you on that. And I hear you keep saying, Bob, mm -hmm. Bob, what is this? Bob, what is this? What is, that's a, that's, that's not really nothing. It's more so of where I come from, you know what I mean? It's Station Zero, FM, you know what I mean? No, I really don't know what you mean, bro. Like, what is you like? What do you think you're like? Huey P. P. Newton or something like. I mean, what you want, bro? It's Station Zero. Stay in tune to this. You know what I mean? We we doing what we gotta do. This no, brother saying, got bro, something you, beautiful I'm saying, going bro, on. Did you hear what I what I just said, though? Yeah, boy. We we it's a it's a unity thing. You know what I mean? When I when we say when I say, boy. I'm saying just, like when yeah. you calling me Bob. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You say it or you call it other people Bob. When I call, mm -hmm. when I call anyone. No, but I'm saying, let me finish saying what I'm saying, though. When you're saying Bob. Hold on, Bob. Hold on, No, nah, what I'm saying, though. What is you saying, bro? Like, what is you, you know what I mean? First of all, Bob, what it is, is it's more so if I but call you But you're kind of contradicting yourself because you be like, you're not in the gang, you're not gang banging, 
and then people should not be doing these certain kind of things. But then you saying Bob, like you know what I mean? Then somebody asks you like, what do Bob mean? And you're like, ah, oh, you know. Because that's too much information as far as discovering my tribe, my family. I want you know, history. But then why why is you calling people Bob though? Because of that's what I choose to call people, brother. No, and on top no, of that, if no, I call no, you, no, Bob, no, you no, don't call. God? It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Don't be calling. You know what I mean? If it, you don't know if I what I want to be called, you know what I mean? You don't know me like that. So don't just go around calling me Bob. You over, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm saying you see what I'm saying or not though. <clears throat> Huh? Hey brother, this this I'm, I've been on, working man. with it and dealing hey with it. Hey man, don't be seven. putting your hands on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What you mean? Yeah. What you want? Yeah, management team, man, bro. You what you tripping, mean? Where's my bro? management he team tripping. at? What you, what you want, bro? He what you what you mean? What's up, man? He tripping, what you mean, man? He Come tripping. on, man. Have you ever worked with an employee fresh out of the penitentiary and he can't adjust to the outside lifestyle? Hey, bro, excuse me. Boy, what the fuck? What? What you mean, fam? Fuck all that pussy ass shit you talking about, nigga. I'm fresh out of steel water, nigga. You got me fucked up, fam. Bro, no, nah, bro. I just wanted to know if you can hand me that broom over there. We back. Station Zero Radio. I want to apologize. Um, I'm informed that there was a little confrontation there. Ryder, gonna move forward. Um, appreciate you coming. We're gonna get into this next song. Not a time, bro. Um, this one is called Not Lost. All right, we're gonna get into this joint. <clears throat> Not, Not Lost. lost. Mm -hmm. Station Zero. Be right back. Station Zero Radio. <laughs> We done switched the pieces to the puzzle, pieced it up. Come, cause I always got an animosity. Who gives a fuck? I just got the glow on me and my bow, you get ate up. I got this bitch on me, you don't really want what's up. I lost generation, not a lost generation. I lost generation, not a lost generation. I'm too raw, I'm too raw. Why this nigga gun out here shooting off the nerf balls? Knowing you got bad luck for the shit you don't want smoke, dog. Told you niggas won't be full pussy, I do y'all. Cool and collected while I swerve off. Ignorant with the shit, man, you don't want to get murked, dog. Knowing that shit hurt, dog. Tough life, nothing else but a sacrifice. Gotta give up if you wanna pay the price. Yeah. No, I had to really double up, fuck a single. Yeah. Knowing that, that I mean it. Yeah. Anything could happen no, on Sunday, like Willie Beeman. Yeah. Niggas off of that K2 hella hard, knowing they tweaking. Yeah. I guess they dealing with their demons. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. Uh, wanna talk about a generation that's lost, we don't believe it. Nah. Anything you see up in this life, gotta receive it. Yeah. Or go and retrieve it. Yeah. Knowing that my dog's like a receiver. Uh,
This is a perfect example of poor That's how you play communication one with, defense, baby. with your queen. Inside, get an and one. That's two consecutive plays by Anthony Davis. Babe, you are never guessing my second time we've been tied. No D4 lead changes. Yeah, hold on. One, he did not acknowledge her entering the room. Two, he continued watching the game. Three, he did not turn and face her to give her the respect and attention she deserves. Now let's take a look at the correct way to communicate with your queen. That's a good kick. Ah, uh, we need that. Come on. I'm sorry, hey, ass you never just so happy to be What happened, baby? I had a long day at work. In any relationship, communication is the key. Choose her or lose her. This was a public service announcement brought to you by Treat Your Girl Right Because These Needs Are Thirsty. Affiliates of Love her strong, keep her long. Alright, we back. Station Zero Education Radio. All the time. Got my partner playing with me, Ryder. Let's do it, let's do it. We just got done listening to Lost Generation. It's not a lost generation. Hey, not lost hey. by the LG, man. Not lost by the LG. Who, who, what does that mean? What is what is the LG? LG is Lost Generation. That's the, uh, the, the, the group. That's us as a collective. And okay. Coming from another light year. So, yo, I got to stay in tune with the Lost Generation. Man. Lost Generation, yes, okay. Yes, we're going to get into what we call right here the highlight hour. Mm -hmm. The highlight hour mm -hmm. where we're going to break down these lyrics, break down what brothers was thinking when they came with these bars. I like bars. that. I like that. I like yeah. That. yeah. Okay. We're going to get into the chorus. I got you. First bar, it goes, uh, we done switched the pieces to the puzzle. We switched it up. All right. We don't switch the pieces to the puzzle and switched it up. Uh -huh. Now, what was you, what was you talking about there? What was you, what was your mind frame there on that bar? Um, more so of uh, switching up the way that uh, what you're usually hearing from the music today. All right, so what's the next bar in Lost Course? Comica's always got in the monster. But who gives a fuck? Comica's always got animosity, but who gives a fuck? Mm -hmm. What was you thinking there? What was that bar coming from? Uh, it's coming from, you know, back again with the matters of the restrictions and the things that, you know, you deal with from uh, outsiders who that just place different hurdles on you. You know what I mean? So it's like the, the, the animosity that they bring or the problems that they bring, who gives a fuck about? You know what I mean? Right. Fuck, fuck anyone else's problems. Focus on what you got going on right yeah. in front of you. You know what I mean? Okay, we was um, got the glau on me and my bowl. You get ate up. Mm. <laughs> got the glau on me uh -huh. and my bowl. Mm -hmm. You get ate up. Correct. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Slow down now, my need you. <laughs> First of all, got the glau on me. Mm -hmm. What's the glau? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, it's protection. You know what I mean. Okay. It's protection. Got the glau on me and my bowl. Mm -hmm. What's my bowl? My bowl is um, so it's I'm I'm speaking masoon right there. Okay. So um, the glau is, is a specific uh piece of merchandise that's a weapon. Okay. For protection. It's a specific protection, and then. Bowl and masoon is a uh, it's it's a word for just protection. Period. You know okay. What I mean? Okay. So I flipped it on the matters of saying bowl as in what you would have in your hand when you eating something. Yeah. As in you know in mind when I was thinking I was thinking cereal. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, I say yeah, I flipped yeah. it and say you get ate up. You know uh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's more so of a. Obviously, you get you get chopped down. You know okay. What I mean? you get okay. Ate up. 
What's the next bar we dealing with on there? Um, and then right after that, we come in with the acknowledgement that you listening to Lost Generation and you not lost. So it's uh, a repeatedly of not uh, of, of Lost Generation. It's not a Lost Generation. Lost Generation is not a Lost Generation. Lost generation is not a lost generation. Lost generation is not a lost generation. Okay, <laughs> now help me out here. <clears throat> lost generation. Mm -hmm. That's that's the name of the group. Okay, is not a lost generation. Mm -hmm. Now that's kind of confusing. It's a <laughs> if you if you're calling yourself lost generation, how are you not a lost generation? It's the um. It's one of those things that you look at deeper when you dig into, you know, it's, it catches your attention to just hear you say that you lost and the folks that come from where you come from are aware that it's a disconnection with the people. And then once you get in tune and you stay more uh, involved with what's going on with the lost generation, you will develop that these guys are not lost. So it's, 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 it's actually educational and it's a, it's a, um, like an enlightenment piece. Exactly. And that chant is is just within itself goes to show and tell you, you know what I mean, that it's it's, it's not, not a lost, lost generation. generation. You know what I'm saying? Lost generation is <laughs> not, not a lost, lost generation. generation. I appreciate you coming through. What's next for you? What you got next up on the agenda, man? I got um I got an um album coming out that's gonna be uh something smooth on the ears. It's uh it's for the for the for the ladies. Like I, I haven't really uh, praised my role and paid my dues for the ladies. Okay. 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 So I, I got conversations coming out. And, and <clears throat> where will we be able to find conversations? Just type in uh, my name on the internet, which is FM Rod. Type on in, tune on in. Check my brother right out. We look forward to having you come back through. Hey, definitely. Hey man, you been tuned in to Station Zero. Education Interactive Radio, one and only, Ryder, a special guest. I've been your host, O-N-E, Twin Cities Matt. Till next time. Tune in to Station Zero, all the time, Ryder. You listen in, you focus in on what's going on, delivering the daily news. Melanichi straight from this turtle. Make sure y'all stay in on this radio, it's going on all the time. Got Melanichi Universe going on, everything, stay in tune. Close the line, you need a hat, we got you. Fam.